Hey gang, Spade here, and today we are taking a look at Dark of the Moon Deluxe Class Barricade. He does have a mech tech weapon that's a giant Gatling gun that does have a gimmick in, in, uh, in robot mode. You push this little bit here and it forms a, cap a claw. Now one thing that's interesting is, unlike some other Deluxes, the claw can actually lock into place. You push it all the way down and you'll feel this click, and then it'll just stay. And then you just kind of force it back. So, yeah, you got this little claw thing going. I don't like the claw. I think it's kind of dumb. It worked so much better on crankcase, but that's just my opinion. So we'll put that off to the side and take a look at the figure itself. The figure itself is the typical Ford Mustang police car. It still has uh, To Punish and Enslave on the back sides, and it's modeled in all black with a little bit of white. Now what's interesting is the transformation. The transformation is definitely different. I mean, this is definitely a change from what we've seen before. We're going to start off by coming in on the sides and popping the doors off. Now that isn't different, not going to lie there. And we'll just fold up the uh, the uh, windshields on the sides. Or I'm sorry, the, uh, the not windshields. I've had way too much to drink tonight. Windows, yes. Next, we'll come back to the rear bumper and just fold that completely upward. And then we'll take the whole back window part, along with the bumper, and unpeg it from the top of the vehicle and fold it down. And this will pull out what will be the robot legs. And we'll go ahead and futz with that now. So, the robot legs are a little bit interesting this time. We're going to take this whole section that folded down and flip it around 180 degrees and then plug it back up into the center of the figure. Then we'll fold the feet down and pull out the legs. Now the legs don't really sit at 90 degrees. They're, they're on swivel joints which are then attached to ball joints in the top of the legs. I'll talk about that in a bit as it causes a few minor issues. Oh, and the uh, feet have a tendency to pop off if you push them too far, but they go right back in. So for the top of the figure, we're going to actually just kind of snap the hood down. One thing cool about the hood is if you take the very front of the hood, you could just rotate it around and it'll form snarly face hood. And if you rotate that down, that will actually peg. Well, actually, what we do is we fold it all the way back, and then we fold it down. And the bottom of the front of the hood, will, or the front of the car, will peg into this peg, white peg here. After we get everything lined up. And I completely failed at showing you exactly how to do that. Sorry. And then we'll just get the, uh, the arms lined up. The rear... Uh, the windshields, uh, the, not the windshields, the windows out of the way, and just get everything lined up. And then this panel pops, well, it's not supposed to pop off, but mine does, pops kind of out, and then you can pose this part of the, of the wheels at any way you want. You just get them out of the way so you can get some posability. So, there we have his robot mode. And he can actually hold his gun. His hands are modeled such that he can hold his gun, but the gun is a little bit out of proportion. And for a deluxe class figure, this guy's really small. I mean, he's smaller than Laserbeak is long, simply because his legs are stuck like this. They are stuck in this bent position, partially because of the rear windshield, which is this piece right here, and partially because his feet can't bend any farther than that. So you have to keep him at this bent leg. It's not a bad look for him. He's not bad looking at all. I just wish he would be able to stand up a, a little bit taller. His face has been um, has been changed a little bit. There is much more detail there and there is no light piping. I thought there was but there is not. Now what I was talking about with the hips is it's a little weird. You've got this minimal um, posability in the hips, and then these swing swivel or swing joints here connected to ball joints, connected to swivel joints, and then his legs are kind of stuck like that. But his arms are on a, uh, a swivel joint there, ball joint, and then there's a hinge joint there connecting to a ball joint that 
really can't move anything other than in and out. And then his wrists move and his hands can close. So, honestly, I think there have been other better barricades, but this one's, I think, more poseable than the others. Except for the Human Alliance barricade, which was by far my favorite. This one isn't bad. I wouldn't put him at the top of your two purchase list, but he's not bad at all. He's definitely worth looking at. And I love the fact that you could store his mech tech weapon in robot mode just on his pack. It does make him a little top heavy, but one thing I noticed is that the legs collapse right back onto the back hood of the vehicle mode, so he's pretty stable, which is good. If he, even though he lack, severely lacks posability. Would I pick him up? Not as my first choice, but he's definitely not a bad figure, and he's defi definitely worth being in your collection. Unfortunately, I haven't seen this guy in stores, so I had to get him online, and I picked him up off of Amazon.com for a very reasonable, bleh, reasonable price, and since I am a Prime member, I got free shipping. Um, it really pays to be a Prime member on Amazon sometimes. Uh, no, I'm not showing for Amazon. Uh, I haven't seen him in stores at all. I saw Laserbeak and Nitro Bumblebee and Mudflap. Haven't seen Barricade. No, I take that back. I have seen Barricade, but I haven't seen him in a while. I saw him in a Walmart when Dark of the Moon first was released. And I haven't seen him since. But, you know, I, I kind of take the figure. I mean... Bar I didn't pick up any barricade from the ROTF line except the Human Alliance figure. And I'm kind of glad I didn't, but this one's, this one's pretty cool. Now, I got this guy with a, along with a Top Spin and Jolt. And if you want to know my opinions of Jolt, go back and watch that video review. I was not exactly kind to the figure. But barricade I like. And the only other issue I really have with barricade is getting him back into vehicle mode is a royal pain in the keister because you have to get his legs lined up in, su in there such a way that they lock into place and go into this cavity right here. And it doesn't always work. But when you do, you just collapse the other arms in and then you're done. So that's all I'm going to do for the reverse transformation because, well, I can't do it on camera.